When Triumph introduced the Scrambler 1200s to the market in 2019, it instantly captivated riders. The combination of an open-class, retro-styled Scrambler with modern suspension, brakes, and electronics proved to be a winning formula. However, the dilemma arose when choosing between the two lineup options, the 1200XC and 1200XC, as their specifications were so closely matched that prospective buyers had to meticulously examine each detail to make the right choice. The challenge was further compounded by differences in seat heights and suspension travel, potentially discouraging those seeking scrambler styling and capabilities in a lower and more accessible chassis. Responding to the feedback of such riders, Triumph has addressed these concerns in its 2024 lineup. The XC model has been replaced by a more entry-level X model, catering to both affordability and rider accessibility. Additionally, the XC model has undergone updates and refinements to the chassis and electronics. The good news is that both models are now available at lower MSRPs compared to their predecessors. After spending two days with both models, we gained a comprehensive understanding of their individual strengths and weaknesses. While we've already published a first ride review on the X model, this overview will highlight the real-world distinctions between the two bikes. Engine One aspect that remains relatively unchanged is the engine powering both models. Both bikes utilize identical versions of Triumph's high-power Bonneville Parallel Twin with a Scrambler-specific tune. However, Notable updates to the intake system include a new single 50mm throttle body, up from 45mm, and a revised exhaust header to enhance flow. The repositioned catalytic converter, compared to the original 2019 models, addresses heat concerns near the rider's right leg. Claimed power stands at 88.8 horsepower at 7,000 rpm, with peak torque of 81.1 pound FT at 4,250 rpm. Triumph asserts that this version, compared to the T120 engine, delivers 12.5% more horsepower and 4% more peak torque. While these increases may not be immediately apparent during the ride, the engine's 270-degree crank provides a satisfying and versatile power delivery, making it equally comfortable on both road and off-road terrains. In urban settings, the engine's flat torque plateau facilitates smooth acceleration from stops, further enhanced by the seamless engagement of the cable-actuated clutch. Venturing onto narrow and winding mountain roads reveals the engine's prowess in effortlessly navigating tight hairpin turns, offering various gear options through the well-performing six-speed transmission. The engine's adaptability allows for both a relaxed cruising pace and spirited corner exits, akin to a nimble and agile cat. While the Bonneville twin impresses on the road, its off-road capabilities are equally commendable. A noteworthy comparison arises when juxtaposing this stripped-down retro scrambler with Triumph's dedicated adventure bikes. Despite the Tiger 1200 GT Pro boasting nearly 150 horsepower from its three-cylinder engine, there is never a longing for an adventure bike while traversing the California desert alongside six-time AMA motocross slash supercross champion Jeff Stanton on the 1200XC. Fitted with optional Michelin Anarchy Wild Knobby tires, the bike excels in sandy washes, effortlessly conquering steep and loose sandy hill climbs in second or third gear. In off-road scenarios, the engine's impressive torque and power take center stage, particularly in its ability to navigate at low speeds through rocks, over erosion ruts, and around desert scrub bushes. While first gear remains an option for sudden stops, second and third gears prove effective for this type of riding. The need for substantial power diminishes in most off-highway explorations, but when the terrain allows for a clear line of sight, the robust 1200 engine excels in devouring desert landscapes and kicking up roost like a champion. Electronics Considering the abundant torque, both bikes are equipped with a suite of rider aids. Although the electronic systems share many similarities, notable distinctions exist between the two models. Triumph's ride modes come with preset parameters for throttle response, ABS, and TC settings. The XE model boasts six modes, including rain, road, off-road, sport, off-road pro, and the customizable rider. Meanwhile, the X model features five modes, lacking the off-road pro option. While any of the road modes can be selected on the go, selecting an off-road mode requires coming to a stop on both machines. Off-Road Pro on the XC allows riders to swiftly optimize settings for dirt riding, with defaults set to ABS off, rear off, TC off, and the off-road throttle map. Both models come equipped with optimized cornering ABS and optimized cornering traction control, 
utilizing information from a six-axis inertial measurement unit, IMU. The cornering functionality is active exclusively in on-road modes. For the 1200 XC, delving into the menus to customize the rider mode allows selection from three ABS modes, road, off-road, and off. In terms of traction control, riders can choose from five options, sport, road, rain, off-road, and off. The 1200X exhibits a more streamlined approach, offering two ABS modes, road and off-road, with the same five traction control TC, options as the XC. An evident distinction between the two models lies in how riders access and view the rider aid features. The 1200 XE features a full-color TFT display with two layout design themes and options for high or low contrast displays. Conversely, the new X model adopts an older-style combination LCD slash TFT screen with fewer features. Notably, the XE's left handlebar control pod introduces a brand new joystick for navigating through options, offering a more intuitive experience compared to the X's four directional arrow pads. Both bikes are equipped with a dedicated mode button for quick transitions between modes, requiring confirmation with a check button. The XE model further enhances user experience with backlit red handlebar buttons for easy recognition in low-light conditions and cruise control functionality, unavailable on the X, controlled by a user-friendly single-button design. On-road performance of the electronic packages for both bikes is comparable, with no discernible differences in functionality. However, the XC's left control pod represents a significant improvement in menu navigation, facilitating quicker customization and mode selection. When venturing off-road, the off-road pro mode on the XC surpasses the X model's more basic intervention and control levels, aligning with the XC's superior dirt capabilities. The notable distinctions lie in the ABS algorithms. In off-road pro, selecting off and ABS turns off rear intervention completely, leaving a minimal amount active at the front. With the robust Michelin Nobis on the XC, locking the rear wheel for directional changes or controlling the descent on steep, loose hills become seamless. Conversely, the X model retains ABS to the rear, with a more aggressive front anti-lock system that hinders quick stops on loose surfaces. An additional advantage of the off-road pro mode on the XC is its responsive power delivery, consistently lively braking, and the ability to lift the front wheel over obstacles with traction control turned off. If you frequently transition between asphalt and dirt, there's little incentive to switch to another mode, unless ABS is specifically needed for a rain-soaked road. We speak from experience. In contrast, managing traction control on the X involves navigating menus to deactivate it, but if you cycle the key, it defaults back to on, requiring a repetitive process. The XE's off-road pro mode, however, keeps these settings locked in, enabling quick entry into the mode with a few button presses, assuring readiness for off-road adventures without the need for extensive menu adjustments. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.